everybody and welcome back to another video oh, man today's so freaking hot i was gonna wear a full face of makeup for you guys but i'm it's just not happening i'm so tired and it's it's really hot outside so i do not want to wear makeup so excuse my face but today's gonna be just a gear haul i mean a lot of you guys did request this um type of video from me it's um different than our um what was it doberman must have items this video is just gonna be strictly on like doberman accessories and kind of like my favorite gear for the dogs obviously this list kind of fluctuates because i'm always buying new things for them i literally spend so much money on gear for the dobermans and they don't even care what color they're wearing so anyways whatever um but yes i literally spend so much money on their collars and i'm just gonna go through kind of like our favorite collars or harnesses and stuff that i use for them on the daily and um i do rotate their gear as well so they don't wear like the same collar for like weeks on end i know they're like super spoiled i don't know it's not necessary you know but me being a crazy doberman owner um that's kind of what all of my money has gone to. So if that sounds interesting, please keep on watching. And since we're talking about must-haves and favorite items, I wanted to talk today about BarkBox. So if you guys don't know what BarkBox is, it is actually a monthly subscription to a bunch of cool different treats and toys and shoes and all that good stuff. So every month is actually a different month. This month is pool party and this box in particular is actually a super chewer box. So it's made to be a lot more durable for your big dogs that like to chew a bunch of stuff up. So here it is in this cute, adorable box. Oh, this theme is so cute. Okay, so I love how every month is a different theme and let's see what we have in the box so it looks like this first toy here we have flamboyant flamingo and guys it's so freaking cute because every toy has its own individual like little flap and it shows you how to like play with it and like what it's made out of so i love the attention to detail that they have in each of their boxes so let's go up with this first toy this one is the little flamingo and look it's an enrichment toy too which is so cool you can put different treats in here and all that good stuff and it's like super thick material so this is the first toy and there's three toys in here this one's a pool noodle so cute i love it and then last but not least there is a fetch and raise and let's just see like their little instruction manual shall we call it um so super adorable and it comes in like i don't know it's just like their toys are just such good quality so this is as i mentioned earlier the super chewer box so it's just a more durable box um compared to the normal bark boxes there's also a couple of treats in here so this one is the soft bakes bacon and oatmeal recipe treats and these i think they're soft treats which are really cool there's also some jerky nibbles ah, adorable uh this one is turkey and sweet potato recipe and then we also have a couple of chews in here. So we have a pumpkin and honey recipe chew stick, which the big dogs, by the way, absolutely love. And then there's also one of these, which is the pork chew stick. And it comes with two of them in this little packet. But yeah, BarkBox is super cool. The dogs always look forward to getting a new BarkBox monthly. And I love how it's super affordable. I mean, for all of these toys, it's just, I don't know, such a good price. And treats, of course. So yes, definitely a must have. And you guys should definitely check them out. I'll have the link in the description for our BarkBox sign up. Okay, so back to our little haul. So this one is definitely one of my favorite collars that they have in their collection. This is a Hound Squad shop. I forgot what it was called, but I'll link everything in the description or in the bio. But this one in particular is made out of this like amazing material. I think it's called, I forgot what it was called. Eventually. It's called Biothane. So all of their collars are pretty much this material and it's just super easy to clean. Like it's easy to wash and I don't know I just really like it and it's also like stink proof and weather resistant proof and all that oh my gosh yeti <laughs> and all that good stuff so definitely one of my favorite colors and I'll also insert some photos of what they look like wearing it so this is a yellow one and we also have a dark green one as well next up one of our favorites of course has to I mean it's obviously from my own brand this is from hellhounds la um I designed these tactical collars and designed these patches too so it like sticks on perfectly onto the collar. Um, so I have different patches for them, but this is definitely one of my favorite. This one says fuck around and find out. Um, 
it's a good quality collar and honestly it's super comfortable i don't like the tactical collars that are just like really big and bulky i mean my first thought was like comfort and i also don't like dogs wearing like collars 24 7 um but this one's definitely very very like soft material and like a good like everyday wear collar so definitely one of our favorites and there's also a bunch of cute patches that you can stick on here so love this one Okay, this next one is also from Hound Squad Shop. Shipping did take a little while to get here just because this one in particular was custom made. So this one is it's so cool. Like this one's made for Draco. Unfortunately, Katana is not here right now um, and she has her collar on. She's at my mom's house right now because she's in heat. So um, I told the owner, oh my gosh, it's not focusing. I told the owner exactly what I was looking for in a collar i said i wanted something badass and she basically drew this up guys it is absolutely amazing artwork definitely one of my favorites i told her like what color schemes we wanted and it's also made of this like bio themed material as well um and it's just easy to clean right now it's like dirty but i literally can just like wash it off and everything will be intact and it hasn't even like chipped or you know got messed up i was just really worried because the dogs play really really rough with each other and i thought it was going to get like all scratched up and stuff but no i've had this for almost a year now and it's pretty much stayed in perfect condition so definitely really really love this shop okay next we have a very special collar it was so expensive guys and i don't expect anyone to spend this much on a dog collar it's honestly absurd but we spent over a thousand dollars on this very hard collar wait what are you doing with the match wait, wait, what, what, what are you burning money for you idiot and it's really dirty right now because we took it to a photo shoot and the photo shoot was a color shoot and they got like blue chalk all over it but i just need to wash it down i know it's good as new but this here is a custom made go yard collar yeah this was i believe 1300 but it did come with a leash which i'm not sure if that even justifies the price but it was custom made specifically for draco um they didn't even have it in the store like i had to go in there pick from a swatch of different colors and from there we chose red there was like a bunch of colors we can choose from and then they had to like put all of the our information on the computer and then they had to you know submit our request to like the shops in i think they're in like italy or something i don't know they have like leather shops in europe somewhere um i'm not even sure but this collar in particular they don't even sell it you can't go to the store and just buy it you can't buy it online it's completely custom made for Draco and it was honestly a really cool experience just being able to connect with them and go into the store and choose all of the hardware and everything but yeah it was very expensive and it also took a very long time to come in I think it was during COVID and I think they took over six months because they're like COVID times and stuff like that so it was just it took forever but it was well worth the wait whether you think it was worth the wait or not that's up to you personally I love it is it worth the price it's a very good collar. I don't expect every dog owner to want to spend that much on a collar, but this was definitely a splurge and it's kind of like a lifelong collar that we will have for him like forever. So yeah, his Goyard collar and there's a matching leash as well. So I absolutely love this collar. It was so expensive, but I can go on and on and about it. <laughs> Next up is one of our favorites. I believe this is from Swole Dogs and it was like $30. This is a, I'm sure it's just called like a choke chain. I was so confused when I first got this collar. I'm like, how do you put this thing together? So you pretty much just slip it through the other holes and it kind of just like becomes a collar. So the reason why I like this one so much is just cause it just looks good. It's, it's sturdy, it's gold. There's blue on it because I did bring it to the color shoot as well, but it doesn't really, for the price, okay, Yeti. We are not doing that. Okay, so for the price, it's just a good solid collar. Collar, collar, I cannot talk. And I don't think it's really tarnished since or like turned green or anything because it has been in water, but not that often. So yeah, good, great collar. I just like it because you can just like slip it on real quick. And it's also like a good weight. Personally, I know everyone loves the gold chain collars and I do too. I think they're beautiful. Um, let me show you guys actually. Okay, so if you can hear the difference, um, this thing is so heavy and it's probably not super comfortable to be on them for a long period of time. So I do love the look of the gold, oh my gosh, it's so loud, of the gold chain, but it's just extremely heavy. And since I do love this look, that is why I love this one more. I mean, it's just so light and you can't really go wrong with it. So it just, it just looks good, clean, classy, definitely one of our faves. 
All right, this one was definitely another splurge. I think this one was, this one was around 200-ish, but like almost three, I forgot. But it was around 200 or a little bit more plus shipping and stuff. This one in particular is from Crazy Rebels. It is also that like biothane, or I think they call this Kion, which is like a plastic leather of some sort. But it has, and I think this one was limited as well, but it has all these little hearts. It's so cute and the little spikes, um, great quality really really good quality collar another one of our favorites the only thing is i don't put it on them super often just because there is spikes on it along with the hound squad one that i showed earlier um just something with a lot of spikes like this when they play i'm just scared of them getting hurt because these are super sharp this one's a little bit more dull but they are bigger um so i just like to keep a closer eye on them when they are wearing spiked collars but i usually just throw it on them for like photos and for video shoots and stuff but i don't keep it on for them for a really long time but Definitely, it just looks really cute and I do really like it. I've always wanted a custom made Crazy Rebels collar, but the wait list is literally so long and they're really expensive. So this is the best we can do for now. Okay, this one isn't gear for him, but it's gear for me. This is our freaking like favorite. It's so good. It is a treat pouch and I absolutely love it. It is literally amazing. It's like this material, I think it's like BPA, like food grade material, and it just feels and looks so good. It's like, it's so good. And also it stays open, like it's perfect. And there's also, it comes in cute colors. It's called, it's from, I didn't even, what was it? Oh, Vo Voila Pets. I didn't even like say the name of it. And it just like, and okay, also, sorry, I'm like all over the place. There's a tactical, like really good quality buckle here. So it snaps in and I just like put it around my waist and it just, it looks so cute when I'm like training the dogs and it can stay open too, which is like the best part. And it's just like the perfect, this is the size large. It's just the perfect treat training pouch because I've, trust me guys, I've literally been through so, so many so many training pouches and i couldn't even find like my favorite like the correct one you know they're all like fabric they all start to smell i love this one because i can literally just dump it out and then just rinse it with water and then i've also seen other people or some trainers use it as a water bowl as well when they don't have one so you can also like fill it with water and it won't leak or anything and it's just this is definitely a must-have i love this one so much and it also comes in a bunch of cute colors so yes Everyone needs one. Everyone needs one of these. It's so good. Okay, we also have this, a traffic lead. We do a lot of off work stuff with the dogs and I've just been trying to find like a good traffic lead. This was so cheap. I forgot how much it was, but I think it was like under $10 from Canine Ops and I bought one for Katana as well. But since we do a lot of um, off leash work, I just like to have something like attached. I mean, here's like their collar. I just like to have something like attached to their collars just in case um, and another off leash dog comes or something. So this one is like lightweight enough to where like they probably don't even feel it when they're running around off leash and it's just easier enough for me to grab and it's really really good quality and it's also that biothane material which i love but definitely another must have all right and last but not least we have our brown bear leather harness here and a lot of people always ask what harness i use for draco when he's working or what's like a sturdy harness and this bad boy here is a must have if you have a working dog so this was actually custom made for like his dimensions and everything and i also got to pick the color i got to pick the color the stitching so i chose yellow because obviously yellow is his color um and it just is so good quality it looks really good it's made from real leather. It's like super durable. I was like, how is leather gonna hold up to like this crazy like 80 pound dog like lunging at you? But it's just such, such, such good material and good quality and the padding right here is just so soft. I love it. I forgot how much I got it for. I believe since it was custom made, I think it was around the 200s realm, but I didn't have to pay for shipping because I actually just picked it up. Um, I think they're local to Southern California. So if you live out here, you can just hit them up and pick it up wherever they are at. Um, it was a little bit of a splurge, but it's so worth it compared to getting one that isn't custom fit for your dog because it can be a little bit loose and uncomfortable for them while they're working. So this is um, a must have in my eyes. So one of my favorites for sure. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I also launched these Doberman rhinestone t-shirts on Hellhounds LA as well. They're like little crop top baby tees. I think they're super cute and it matches my light back there that I got custom made. So it's absolutely adorable. I have like Doberman everything in my office. I already see like, I have a bunch of Doberman stuff. There's like that, that, that statue. There's my shirt and then there's like another drawing right there. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Um, next video, we're gonna be doing a crate review or the best crate for Dobermans. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. And I hope you guys all have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it definitely helps me out. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.